you know somebody there in Holland? You did good. Oh, I see you. Good morning. Welcome. I'm Olivia. This is my Silver Sneakers Flex Chair Yoga class. Let's get started. I did turn it on. <laughs> okay, sitting uh, against the back of the chair. You know how I usually say, I don't know, feet down, ground through everything. Today I'm just going to invite you to turn your palms up and see how that changes things. Instead of maybe grounding down, you're going to open. All right, so let's turn those palms up and begin. Close your eyes. Three things. Your attention comes to your breath. Take yourself someplace else if you need to. And come to stillness. And maybe notice how palms up sort of changes the energy. It's just a time to wipe the slate clean. deep breath in, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, let the corners of your mouth turn up on a little smile. And let's move to the edge of the seat. Kick that back. <laughs> All right. And coming into seated mountain pose. Let's take the arms down. Grounding through the feet, certainly. But let's take the hands down. Let the fingers, just like they're dripping water there, reach into the ground. Broaden the collarbones. Find the tip of the sit bone. Put an ever so slight tuck in your chin to get the crown of the head reaching to this, the highest point in your body there. Maybe close the eyes for another moment. And now as you breathe, you're going to notice that breath is going to go all the way around from the front, <clears throat> underneath the arms, into the back ribs. to the shoulders and let's just ease into the shoulder roll. Oh, a little crackling, maybe a little popping, no pain. And one more time. Let's take one back to front and then release. We're going to circle the arms back this way. Okay. <laughs> Somebody always has to move me. <laughs> And one more time. All right, circle them up. Take the gaze up. Circle them down. Drop the chin towards your chest. And one more time. Lifting up. Take the gaze up. And down. Take the chin towards your chest. Now, while you're here, trace the collarbone. Look over the right shoulder. Come up. And then the other way. Keeping those collarbones broad. And again, right and left. One more time. Let's just continue this with your nose in a circle, up, around, and down. Close the eyes or open the eyes, whatever feels best to you. And one more the other way to kind of unwind this. <laughs> All right. Now let's take the arms out to the side. We're going to take an inhale as we, I call this tree hug. And then an exhale as you come this way, all right? So normally, it's a little different than what we normally do. You're going to inhale and breathe into the back ribs. And then exhale. Inhale, back ribs. Exhale. Again, inhale. Feel the rib cage expand in the back. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the ribs together as you come back up. All right. 
reaching up and right back. Sit heavy on that sit bone. And then again. And again, heavy on that left sit bone. One more time. And then we switch to the other side. <laughs> four, four, I should have said that, sorry. And again. Two more times. And over. One more time. And over. All right, like we're walking. Big, big stretch forward and back. And then the other way. And take your gaze to the left wall and to the right wall. Again. And again. All right, leave that left hand there, followed by the right. Deep breath in and forward fold. You're gonna hinge at the hip, look toward the earth, halfway rise, press the hands into the shins. You're working the back here. Let's see if we can let go, still work the back. <laughs> hands here if you need to, it's okay. And then push all the way up. All right, turn to the right. Look over that shoulder. And then we go the other way. Same thing. Look over that shoulder. All right. Let's walk the feet apart a little bit here. Bring that right shoulder down to the left shoulder. See if you can hold that right knee right there. Round it down. And then come back. Let it roll back. Do the same thing. Not only are we going to come this way, but we're going to bring the sh shoulder downward. And come back. And let's just move through this one side at a time. All right, so come down, roll it back, come down, roll it back. Notice you're sitting heavy on the sit bones still as you do this. Notice if you have two different sides. And again, this should feel pretty good. And one more time. Reach forward like you're going to shake somebody's hand. Coming up and over. Oh, I think we have seats for you today. Now, we're going to rainbow arc this back. Come forward. All the way back. And come forward. Now, from here, wipe that table off. Come right past your body there. Reaching out. One more time. All right, we go the other way. Reach out like you're grabbing somebody's hand. Rainbow arc it up and over. Follow your hand with your gaze and reach again. And again, big arc. Two more times. And I'm using my right hand on my leg to support. And here, now here we go. I'm just going to wash this table off. Come right past your body. Lots of sounds in the head, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. And again. All right, all the way back in. Let's go ahead and squeeze them in. I'm going to squeeze my inner thighs together here with a fist and a palm, but if you want to use fists, doesn't matter to me. Just give it a good squeeze. Now, keep the collarbones broad, keep the heart coming forward, and squeeze. Yeah, connect the ribs to the hips, lift through the pelvic floor. Breathe into the belly. And again. All right, release. Let them rest. Right leg like up. And we circle this one around. So ground through this foot here and see if you can hold that body as still as you can. Yeah. All right, bring it to the front. Switch hands. Now, nice and tall, reach back. Nice twist. Come back to the front, switch hands. We go out to the side, look towards the thumb on the left hand. And then again, thumb on the right hand. And thumb on the left hand. And then just come back to the front. Head over heart over pelvis, flex this foot, send some energy down there. See if we can release it for a moment. And all the way down, let's circle it around. Stretch it out there in front. <clears throat> it's a little more difficult in shoes. Alrighty, so other side. Left leg. And sitting tall, we circle this around. Again. All right, so right in front, switch.
chant. Look to the thumb, back to the front. Look to the thumb. Side to side, that right foot is grounded, it's not moving at all. So press all parts of that foot on the ground. Let's just do one more time. And back. All right, hold this leg out to the side, back to the front, flex that foot, send some energy down. You work, you feel those muscles engage in the front, see if you can release it. Drop your shoulders, sit tall. Nice. Okay, and down. Here we go, and around. Whew. So comfortably apart, we're going to stand up and go back down. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to kind of pulse down three and then rise up. So we've got to get up first, okay? This is your choice. You do whatever you'd like. You just want to take some squats. You want to sit and watch. Do some knee lifts, leg extensions. That's fine. But we are up. My feet are about chair width apart. I'm going to go down and pulse three. So one, two, three. Rise up, hands to the feet. <laughs> We'll try it again. <laughs> One, two, three, up. Not down. <laughs> One, two, three, up. And again. One, two, three, up. Last one. One, two, three, up. And down. <laughs> Got it. So I'm going to try to make it different every every day, every every week. But that's that will be this week. So... Um, so those would be your squats like that this week. Try it at home. Do it at home. Every day. My other class, I've got them doing five this week, ten next week, 20, 15, 20. We did that one time, didn't we? Okay, that was only five. So let's let's do that. Let's take five this week. It's already halfway done. <laughs> and your Monday and Wednesday can cl class will count for that. <laughs> But uh, work on that and try that pulse down. Step back to downward facing dog. Ah, tip that pelvis so the tailbone goes to the back wall. That will give you that great stretch in those hamstrings when you do that. Breathe to the back ribs. One more. All right, gazing over the chair. Let's step the right foot in. I'm just going to ride up on my back heel here. And I'm going to hinge at my hip, bend the elbows, and let that back foot lift. lift. All right. So send the elbows right down next to your body. You want to glue them to you here, okay? And tip. And then come right back up. I'm, using, I'm going to put my weight on here because I want to use my triceps back to the arm to get a little strength here. And push right back up. Again. All right, let's switch feet. Same thing. You don't have to let that foot lift in the back. You can just keep it right on the ground, too, if that feels better to you. And again, a couple more. Feeling those triceps work in the back. Tuck the elbows in next to you. This is a, um, this works a different muscle. I want you to keep them in. One more time. All right. All right. So step out to the side on the right foot. And then come to the ball of the foot on the left. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that in the mirror right there. Oh, come on. Okay. What I want you to do, oh, let's see. I'm lying. We're going to go this side, this side. Same thing, the right foot forward and left foot back. Just like you're going to pick something off the ground, you're going to bend both knees, you're going to hinge at the hip, down by the foot, reach to the ceiling. Okay. I'm using my chair for balance. If you need to use it to get yourself back up, then do it. If you can't get to the ground, you go wherever you can. Now here's another little variation. Put it in the back shelf. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to add this little rotation in the hip, maybe a little bit in the knee, so you decide if this is going to work for you or it's not. All right. And again, lower down. It's almost like a one-legged squat. So we're loading up that front leg. Two more. And last one. All right, both hands on the chair. Turn back to the front. Let's see if we can lift that back heel and pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach opposite arm out. Now from here, can we bring the knee towards the elbow? You could bring to the chair. It's up to you. 
and then elbow. We often go out to the side. Today we're going to come right towards the heart. And again. Two more. And last one. All right. We go to the other side. We take that left foot in front, the right foot in the back. It's just kind of near the chair, um, chair leg, and I'm up on my toe in the back. Same thing. We're going to bend down, top shelf. Now your choice. You want to rotate that back? Go ahead. It's up to you. Let's see if you can get to the ground and reaching up as high as you're comfortable. A rotation if you'd like. lead on everyone one more time and back up all right square everything up to the front let that back foot pop up hands on the chair eight seven six five four three two one all right here we go you should be able to bring that leg up right in front of the chair and again bring it in lengthen it back all the way back all right not only am I lifting it to the back and then lengthen it. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. All right. Release. Take a deep breath in. Forward fold. Halfway rise. And circle sweep. Pass through that chair pose and all the way down. Let's come around to the side of the chair. We're just going to take some cat and cow, but getting our bodies down a little bit lower today. Hands underneath. You can hold onto the chair. Sometimes I do that. Hands underneath the shoulders, feet underneath the hips. Let the heart come forward. Yeah, walk your feet in there a little bit, Fran. Think. Let the heart come forward. You're looking about three feet in front of you. And then exhale, tuck in the tailbone and round that upper body. Scoop the belly. All right. Pass through that flat back, heart forward. Exhale, round. And take this at your own, at your own breath work. Let that heart come forward, a heart broad, broad collarbones, and then round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day some cat and cow, grab a chair and get to work. <laughs> One more time. And exhale. All right, roll all the way up. Let's just shake out a little bit. We'll grab a drink of water. We shall move on. All right. So uh, keep some space in between you and the back of the chair. You would. I'm going to just scoot out a little bit so I can be seen here, but you can stay behind the chair. <coughs> Coming into mountain pose. <clears throat> Heels under the sit bones. Soften the knees as the tailbone turns to the ground. We're going to do just what we did when we were seated here. We inhale into the rib cage, tuck the tailbone, and then exhale open. Inhale. Feels really strange to me, doesn't it? Exhale, stand tall. Inhale, hug that tree. And exhale. One more time. Hug the tree. And back. All right, let's just go side to side. Look down towards the earth. Other side, look down towards the earth. Keep that arm up. Deep breath in. Forward fold. Halfway rise. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, press. Exhale, back up. Inhale, take the gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. Inhale, press. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, look. I'm going to change this up here a little bit. Rising up. And down. Right arm comes out to the side. And you may stay there or let that arm lift a little more skyward. And then back to the back to the leg. 
Same thing, other side. Inhale, take the gaze with it if you'd like. And back down. And circle, sweep the arms up. All right. Let's take some sunflowers. Arms out. You still have space between you and the chair. Hinge at the hip, bend the knees. Push through those feet. All right. Down. Push through the feet. And down. Through the feet. And again, you're bending the knees so that the head doesn't fall below the hips. <laughs> and one more time. And hold the star pose. Drop your shoulders. Lovely. Let's just circle the ribs around. So you really have to ground through the feet to do this. You could drop the hands or use the chair, but you're going to feel those feet really start to work when you do this, right? You feel that baby toe edge. <laughs> One more time. All right, release the arms back down. Walk your feet in to mountain pose. And let's do the same thing we did the other day. We lift the toes. And then we lift the heels. And remember, the toe lifting is what gets you back up. You can try it without any hands, but nobody falls, please. <laughs> All right. And again. Try not to stick your hips out too far behind. You get that strength in the front of the leg. One more time. All right. So lift that right heel. And then lift the right toe from the ground. So my, the leg I'm standing on, I'm going to soften it just a little bit. Pulling that toe up. Just see if you can hold this for a moment. Come to some stillness. That other leg foot's going to do some work there for sure. Now hinge at the hip. Lift the knee. Send it way back. Toe ball heel. And warrior one. Shoulder down. Let's take the hands behind the head. Stretching up. And then bring the hands together. Tuck the chin towards your chest. Same thing again, hands around, lift the heart. Hands together, tuck the chin towards the chest. And again, opening the chest, stretching across the back. One more time, and down. And then taking the arms out to the side. Let's go sideways this way. And touching the thighs, or the hip. And one more. All right, both arms up. We draw this line up. Drop your shoulders, everyone. Create that space. And then try, while I'm clasping here, I'm going to try to pull my hands apart. And then release them. Oh, beautiful. Step that back foot in. Circle sweep. Come into chair, powerful pose. Hips go back. Tailbone turns towards the earth and the heart comes forward. All right, reach to the ceiling. We take the other side. So we're going to lift that heel. Soft knee you're standing on. And then we're going to pull that toe up right to the knee. Get that, str get that strength in the front of the leg. I didn't mean for the knee to come up. I meant the toe to sort of draw back towards the knee. Sorry. And keep it low here. You feel that right foot really doing some work there right though. Okay, we hinge at the hip. Send it way back. Toe ball heel. And we rise up. Drop your shoulder. Lovely. Let's take the arms out and we'll just go down. Tuck the chin and come back up. Bring the elbows forward. Tuck the chin. Some crazy range of motion in that in the shoulders right here. Yeah. And again, tuck down. And lift up. One more time. And lift back up. All right. Right to the ceiling. Circle sweep down. All the way back up. One more time. All the way up. Drop your shoulders. Lovely. Let's take this line. We draw it up. You know what? Whatever hand you have crossed over is probably the one that feels most normal. Cross the other side. What is that? Huh? Draw that line up. Drop your shoulders and see if you can pull them apart. Yeah. Draw the shoulder blades down as you do that. You're going to connect the ribs to the hips. Get nice and strong up there. And then press the feet down. And we release. Circle sweep. Step both feet together. Deep breath in. Powerful pose. Sink the tailbone back. 
where it lit the heart. Yeah. So you can keep the arms up by the shoulders. I know it's not always possible, but if you're able to, do that. Um, it's like I'm going to point my elbows to the side wall there. Yeah. Deep breath in. And down. Shake out. Good work. Let's come back to downward facing dog. Any movement you need here. Oh, goodness. And then come to stillness again. And hold and breathe. Splay your fingers out if you can. And then bring the hands back to the knees. Reverse swan dive up. Here's the inhale. Full exhale. Full inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. And inhale, back up. Lovely, get into the chair. Let's reach for the wrist. Elbow's gonna lift to the ceiling. And then we'll go the other way. Elbow lifts to the ceiling. All right, and then I'm gonna put this right hand in my back pocket, all right? And I'm gonna uh, slide the right hand, uh, left hand over, and I'm gonna rotate. Now this hand is back here, so my hip doesn't go back, all right? So don't let this hip go back. You're gonna hold that hip right there, grab hold of the chair, and just look to the right wall, drop your shoulders. And then we go the other way. You can use this to press that hip forward, hold the chair. Now you may not be able to rotate that far, but do what you can. I'm pushing it forward here so my hip bones line up in the front. Gaze over the shoulder. And breathe. All right. And release, come back to the front. Grab a drink of water. Good work. Both feet in mountain pose first. Yeah. Once again, we're going to do this. Drop the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Sink and round. Exhale. Inhale. Sink and round. Exhale. As you inhale, let that breath go into the back ribs there. Even low down into the rib cage. Open. And open. All right, rise up on that right heel. Use the chair if you need to. We're going to step out to the side, turn the toe. Come on back in. Turn the toe. Come back in. And again, let it reach that way. And back. Push out, come back in. Try not to look at me. Look to that wall. And then come back. And look over there. And come back one more time. And now we're going to stay here. Look over. And then we're going to find our warrior two. So that means knee over the ankle, back leg is straight, head over heart over pelvis to the front. Okay. I always say that. Don't anticipate where we're going. We're right here. Arms out. Drop your shoulders. Palms to the front, stretch back a little bit more. Now we take this little windmill. Nothing changes in the low half, right? I'm firmly planted, front knee over the ankle. Take a look, a little more bend in that knee, Betty. Uh-huh, yeah. And again. And we hold this, the reverse, lifting up. Use the chair if you need to here. Now let the shoulders just drop away from the ears. Broad collarbones, lift the heart. Anytime you need to drop that hand, that's okay. Or use the chair. We level this back out. Look to the front first. We're going to slide this way and windmill then. Now coming into extended side angle, I'm going to let that arm float closer to my head. Right? Lovely. And breathe. Drop this hand to the chair. Turn the body between the leg and the chair. And we're going to hinge. Now I'm not going to bend my knee any deeper. I'm going to hinge at the hip. Here's that rainbow arc of your heart going up, over, and down.
drop your gaze. I'm using my right hand on the leg. Look to the back uh, foot and then lift the heart. Come on back up. I'm not straightening that knee. I'm using that leg to get me back up. Let's do it one more time. Humble warrior. Coming down, you are loading up once again. It's like a one-legged squat. You're really loading up that leg. Come right back up, gaze up and over. Straighten that front leg, give it a moment's rest and come into that sky archer. Breathe. All right, toes to the front, walk this foot back in. We go the other way, step out and come back in. See if you can get that toe to turn out as you go that way. So you're gonna rotate in the hip and out. And again, I have to think about that. That's hard for me to do on this side. <laughs> and again, one more time. All right, this time we're gonna go out, now stay there. Find our warrior two. Put your knee over the ankle, back leg is straight. And just to the front first, all right? Press back. So, right, right, all right, and we go into reverse, lifting up. And then find length in that arm, but drop your shoulders. Keep that front knee over the ankle. It does tend to straighten out there a little bit. And then if you can release that hand to the leg or maybe the back pocket. Level this out into the front once again. Open the chest a little bit. We take a slide, rest the let on the leg right there, and let this one flow to the ceiling. You want to bring it into extended side angle, bring it towards the side of the face. All right. Watch we're not curling down here. You want to keep that shoulder back. So imagine the shoulder is touching that wall behind you. Yes, find length in that arm if you can. Maybe turn the gaze. Broad collarbones, lifting the heart always. And bring your attention to your breath. All right, we level this out. Lovely. One on the chair, one on the hand. Oh, I'll think. Humble warrior between the space. I'm not going to sink any deeper into this knee, but I'm going to hinge at that hip. Looking beyond, and then tuck the chin. Look down towards the front foot, maybe the back foot. Looking forward, coming right back up. We'll do it one more time. Hinge at the hip. Humble warrior. One foot, two foot, red foot, blue foot. <laughs> come on back up. And we're gonna now gonna straighten that leg and come into Sky Archer. One of my faves. Far, my fingers are reaching far away from that front heel. I haven't locked my legs, but they're straight. Breathe. Okay, let's see if we can leave this hand up here. Turn the toe to the front, go toes to the front. The other arm comes up. We're gonna take this candlestick pose. First, drop your shoulders, and then see if you can pull them apart. Yeah, don't you feel all that core, those core muscles fire on when you do that? Lift up through the pelvic floor and breathe. And open. All right, walk that foot back in. Shake out. <laughs> Good work. Let's take that vinyasa. Deep breath. Exhale. Inhale, connect this with your breath. Exhale. Inhale, press into the shins. Exhale, reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, press into the shins. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release. Let's stay down here and hold this now. Bring that heart forward. Feel the back working. I have bent my knees a little bit. And breathe. And then reverse one dive or circle sweep all the way up and down. Shake out. I need 
even that last little stretch in my back. Okay, grab a drink of water. Oh. Oh. We have to balance still. Let's save the best for last, huh? Time gets away from me. <clears throat> Half moon pose. One of my faves. So I just step that right foot out. Let's do this. It's out to the side. I'm going to take it back to the back diagonal a little bit. Okay. Not all the way to the back. Not to the front. Just to the diagonal. So about 45 degrees you're going to move there. And then turn that left toe a little more towards the chair. This ought to get us in perfect position for half moon pose. I'm going to transfer the weight onto this foot and lift the leg. Okay. This is just for balance for me. You may need it. Um, for more than just that. So you be the judge. Let that other arm flow to the ceiling. And breathe. Can you lift that leg a little bit higher? Take the gaze towards the chair. Let that other foot do its work. It's going to wiggle around. Let it find Bring that foot in to that tree pose. It may go on the ground. Resituate your feet, whatever you need to do. I'm still a little on the diagonal. And then see if you can find that tree pose. Foot on the ground if you need it is fine. Maybe you got some branches on your tree. Ooh, that's a lot of work on that leg, huh? <laughs> All right, so we go the other way. Right out to the side, about 45 degree angle, and then turn that right toe towards the chair. I think that'll help you get in balance. So the other foot is back. I'm gonna transfer the weight onto the right foot. Flex this back foot here, send some energy out it. Exactly, thank you, Mark, for doing that. And then we reach. I'm looking down towards the chair here. Whatever works for you. I'm not going to ask you to balance and let go because when we take half moon pose, we, well, I always have a hand on the ground. <laughs> Some people might not. See if you can lift that leg any higher. Maybe you'll hinge a little bit more. And then here we come into our tree pose. on the floor if you need it. It's just fine. All right. It's coming out of that. Woo, shake out. Good work. Nice work. All right. Let's take it. Downward facing dog and then into that vinyasa. Or you may stay right here if you feel like this is what you need. Go ahead and stay there. Otherwise, I'm going to bring my hands back in that vinyasa. You do what you need to do, okay? Remember how our breath was very connected to this? And reverse. All right. And hands back to the heart. Nice. All right. I'd love that some of you take something different. It's wonderful. Let's grab a seat. Grab a drink. A seat. Sit back down. Yeah. It's your journey. I'm just got some suggestions. All right, edge of the seat. So let's take that leg out to the side. Slide that toe to the ceiling. Okay. And now I'm just gonna hinge at the hip right here. First, I'm gonna come right straight down, and then I'm gonna slide over towards my left knee. And I'm going to reach my left hand to the back of the chair. Hold on to it if you need to. That, that's just fine. Or maybe turn the palm to the ceiling. Oh, no. Thumb to the ceiling, palm to that wall. It's up to you entirely. Yeah. Wow. A little harder. Just a nice twist and work in your back there. All right. 
Look back to the uh, foot. Come on back up, grab hold of the chair. And my favorite wild thing, you can keep the toe uh, up or the toe down. You need a stretch there in the front of the leg. All right. Slide that foot in. We're going to lift it up and over or on the ground. It's just fine too. But again, we're going to keep this. Let's do this. Just let this foot relax here. And just right here on the downside of your um, shin right there, it should be soft. And then the moment you pull those toes back, you feel that get firm in there. And that's the muscle we need to strengthen right there in order to do that. And as well as stretching in the calf. And all the while you've forgotten about how lovely this feels on your hip, right? <laughs> so just enjoy it for a moment. And breathe. All right, stretch that leg out in front. Heel on the ground. Now, I'm going to hold on to the chair. If you have no wrist trouble or shoulder trouble, if, let me start with this. If you do, what I want you to just, just hold on and lift the heart. That's it. Squeeze the shoulder blades. If you don't have wrist or shoulder trouble, I'm going to invite you. Not only am I going to use my supporting leg and my heel, I'm going to use my hands and just lighten up on the seat right there a little bit. Maybe lift it off. It's entirely up to you. All right. Reverse plank. But don't challenge your hands and your shoulders if you have issues. All right, come on back. Pull those bones out <laughs> and take them the other way. And then the same thing on the other side and go the other way. In the meantime, we walk both legs out. We're going to keep one on the ground. So we have flexed that foot right there over that knee. Hinge at the hip. Take that hand on the leg for support. I've got the other one on the chair, lest I fall out of the chair. Or if we're reaching back, holding onto the back works for you. Whatever works. This toe is facing the ceiling, so you're working the front of the leg again. All right, look back to the foot, hand on the chair. I'm gonna drop my toe down. If you have shoes on, it's tough to do, but that way I get a little stretch in the front of the leg. And lifting back. And walk that right foot in. Lift that left foot up and over. And again, on the ground is just fine. Just fine. Let's get off my tail here. <laughs> and again, soft there in the front. Then you're going to flex that foot and feel that work right there. So you give that Achilles a stretch and that soleus muscle in the low part of your leg a stretch but you work the front part. Remember how important that was to bringing you back on balance. All right, out in front. So same thing here. Hold on to the chair, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart. If you want any more, go ahead and do it. It's your choice. slide down the legs. Now, pull, draw that navel in towards your spine. Breathe into those back ribs again. We've done a lot of that today. Let them lift to the ceiling one more time. And then slowly roll back up. Scoot on back. Scoot on back. And again, snuggle that pelvis into the back. I just love the way that feels. And your choice, once again, palms up or palms down. I just noticed the way it, it just opens the front of my body more when I'm this way than when I'm this way. So whatever works for you today, whatever you need. And again, focus on your breath. You can go someplace else if you need to. And come to stillness.
your fingers and toes. And bring the hands together at your heart. Keep in mind the things that you take for granted. Someone else is praying for. Namaste. Namaste. Love you. Y'all were great today. Good work. We went to some different places today. Okay. That's my week. <laughs> no, I'll see y'all again next week on...